gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Spread the <laughs> seats uh, I did buy these brackets which I had no idea or, or any info on what it was uh, I bought these on eBay it allows me to use my OEM rails seat belt yada yada um, and unfortunately the holes did not line up at all whatsoever when it came to the Amazon seats. There was nothing wrong with the seats. Uh, they were cool. I was going to use them. So I ended up scrapping that whole idea together. Uh, like I said, because this didn't work. Uh, this is not completely a finished product because I did use some Mickey Mouse bolts on this end to hold this, which I don't know if I have any more for the driver's side. Uh, everything else, you could use the OEM bolts, the this bracket, except for this port right here, because um, it is a lot thicker with, with this bracket, so uh, that bolt that, that you could use the bolts, they're same threads, but I don't think they'll bolt on there correctly, if that makes sense. Unlike these torques that, you know, they're, cert they're a certain length and they barely reach with just the bracket, you know, along with this other thicker bracket on it. I am using all the OEM hardware. I did have to drill this out, as you saw, hopefully, in the last video. Yada yada. Uh, like I said, uh, the Amazon seat was cool. Uh, yeah, for what it was, it's 300 bucks, uh, three something. I didn't pay out of my pocket. I used all my Amazon <laughs> credit card rewards for that. So, in fact, they got the seat free. So, I ended up selling them. I scratched the whole idea. Um, Sold them, I took, I guess you can say 50 buck loss. I sold them for like 350, they cost me like 400, which didn't really cost me anything, so whatever. But yeah, at the end of the day, I did lose 50 bucks. And as I looked more into this bracket, I found one fellow on the forums that had the exact same bracket. I forgot what company in the UK makes this, but even though I bought it on eBay. And apparently, this bracket is meant for Corbo seats, Sparkle seats, and some other thing. So, with that being said, Brings us to this thing. My new Corvosi. There, that's how you say it, pronounce it, whatever. Well, here we go, it's a little package. Taking all the shit off, you might want to stab yourself. 
make sure you know. See the diamond stitching. I think it'll look cool. I believe you could use a four point harness with this. Not a five, I doubt it. But for now I'm just gonna use my stock thing so I could get a cage in my car. But yeah. That's the seat right there. So obviously I'm not gonna show you how to install everything on a car as much as I would love to because I don't have enough memory in my car. guy comes with bolts. It already comes with Allen bolts that should match up to this side here. Cross my fingers. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna do my passenger seat right now because the whole drilling out that seatbelt bracket crap is pain in the ass and it's late today so I'm just trying to kind of sort of clear my garage. <laughs> Once I get on my, my other car back, uh, just things I gotta do to that car, so I should be getting the car back from the freaking body shop next week. But yeah, this is the seat, which I think is a lot sexier than the than the well, yeah, seat that's all torn up. Anyways, well, the passenger seat was fine. It's the driver's seat. It's shitty. But these are Allen bolts. So at least it comes with hardware, I guess. I should be able to mount these up, bolt it, and hopefully put the bracket on. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera and then mount it on and show you how it's all mounted. Now probably finish this video. It's just like a follow up, I guess, like I said, to the last video. Um, fortunately, the Amazon seats went boom gaga. Didn't go as planned. Like I said, the seats seem to be fine. The four hundred dollars seats. These are nine hundred dollars or a thousand dollars for a pair. But yeah, Corbo seats. So hopefully you guys 
enjoy it. You guys can see what I'm going to do in my mini mix. Uh, after this, should be my camshaft install. Where the hell I get the arc bolt? Because everything's in back order thanks to Kofi. But yeah, I should be able to mount this on, slap it on. And I'll show you guys once it's on the car, how it looks, how it sits. And we'll go from there. So, give me a few, I'll come back and show you what's up. Alright, so there you go. This is the seat I'm mounted. I did use my own washers and lock washers to bolt these. I didn't want to just bolt them on there like that. I think I did use a uh, locker blue because, you know, it is a moving, well, not a moving component, but, you know, it is my safety suit. So I don't want to die trying to, you know, not being bolted on right. But yeah, there you go. That shows that, so. Uh, I'll show you guys once it's mounted on the car. I will be putting a zip tie, I guess, right here, just to hold these cables. I don't know if these things should be gone to this side or not. Um, but I'm just going to zip tie them here with that. And then connect them. It should give enough slack to do what it needs to do. So I'll be back. Alright, so update video on what I did. Sorry, but this is how it's going to be. Uh, this is how it looks. Both seats. Don't mind the extra parts I'm laying around because I got some other crap going on right now. But yeah, you'll see a video on that later. Maybe, maybe not. But that's how it looks. Nice and bolted on. Kind of clear. I think if you scoot it a little more back, it starts rubbing. Like mine over there's kind of touching a bit. But for the most part, I think it looks cool. Couple more things to do. I need to get a new boot. Replace this with a newer version of it that the guy provided because that was messed up. But yeah, pretty good so far. All right, peace.